Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise here, and have you ever wondered why, with six-sided dice being the most popular dice featured in board games and rolled most frequently, why they're cubes? I mean, cubes don't roll. <laughs> the phrase isn't, a rolling cube gathers no moss, it's, hey, how come that mossy thing isn't rolling? Because it's a cube, Larry. It's simply physics. But yet, we continue casting cubicle lots like some sort of a front in the face of nature. Oh, but one company, one company sets out to right the collective rolled wrongs of mankind with double six dice. Twelve sided dice containing the numbers one through six twice. Is this an advance in dodecagonal technology that will take the world by storm? Or is this polyhedronal revolution doomed to be crushed by Big Cube? To find the answer to this mystery, I recently set out on my own investigation. What did I discover? We'll find out in this episode of The Component Proponent. Saving your game from the mundane. I first discovered Double Six Dice at BGGCon last year, where they were brought to the table by friend and fellow board game media maker Marty Connell, or Tony to those who call him by the wrong name. Demonstrating his flair for nonconformity, Marty played our entire game using these strange 12 sided dice in place of the regular six sided ones. But unfortunately, Marty was paying attention too closely for me to successfully steal his dice from him, so I had to go out and procure a set of my own. And upon receiving my own set, I discovered that these fancy dancy little dodecagons featured the numbers 1 through 6 on two sides each, effectively turning a 12-sided polyhedron into a 6-sided dice. Even more surprising, this was achieved through mortal science, not arcane magics as I had first suspected. Is this shifted shape effective, though? Yes, the double six dice has redeemed its cubicle counterpart. But these altruistic dice, they don't stop there. Now, riding high on their recent victory, they set out to demolish the need for arguably nature's most sinister dice shape, the four-sided pyramid dice also known as Triangles of Turmoil, the sinister strongboloid foot-stabbing obelisks of agony. And thus was developed Double Six's companion product, a series of dice called Triple Fours, which contained three sets of one through four. However, in a clever move to keep the two dice sets distinct from one another, the Triple Fours contained decorative patterns to denote the value rolled, making them instantly distinctive from Double Six dice. Ah, <laughs> clever. So, even if replacing your six-sided dice with double six dice doesn't tempt you into conversion, the mere thought of doing away with these puny, powerful pyramids of pain should cause even the most jaded gamer to give them a consideration. So, that's an overview of double six dice, an interesting component that's as fully functional as it is neat. These dice, available in D6, D4, and Fudge Dice variants, are definitely worth looking into if you enjoy dice, especially if you demand that your novelty dice are still fully functional. Because when it comes to that, these dice definitely fit the bill. And there you go. Thanks for watching this component review. And if you have a board game component that's worth talking about, contact me at components at pairofdiceparadise.com and perhaps I can discuss them on an upcoming episode. But until then, for more board game news, reviews, and commentary, be sure to click that fancy dancy little subscribe button that we all know and love. And if you're feeling especially bold, be sure to follow Pair of Dice Paradise and the Dice Tower on Twitter and Facebook for more fun and surprises about board games. Until the next episode, I've been Chaz Marler, your component proponent.
Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Yes, folks, you can feel the feng shui flow as you're rolling a rounder shape the way that nature intended. Harmony with nature has been achieved, and I think it's clear that the winner here is me for finding a way to get people to watch a video about me rolling dice.